All right, um, I am lactose intolerant. I have a story. I was just in New York. This is such a New York thing. So I was in New York. Mm -hmm. I was with a bunch of friends and I wanted to eat food and stuff. So my one friend that was like taking me around, we left to go get something. And the only place open was a pizza shop, but they were closing. Okay. And she's like, don't worry, they have vegan pizza. I'm like, are you sure? Because I will kill you. I will murder you here in New York if I am eating real cheese. She goes, it has vegan. So we go to this uh, pizza shop, right? And they're literally closing down. And I go, do you guys have anything left? They go, I'm sorry, all we have left is vegan pizza. I'm like, that's perfect. <laughs> And so I go inside, they go, hey man, do you want all of this for 10 bucks? They just had to get rid of it. Right. I'm like, dude, we got a deal. <laughs> it was so yummy. What's up everybody, I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Laquan Bennett. And we are watching an ice cream sandwich video yet again. One of my favorite YouTubers of all time. This video is called Difficulty Eating New York Pizza. Now, Laquan, you said you have lived in New York. Yep, three years. Uh, three years, when was this? 2008 to 2011. I was actually visiting New York at that time a little bit. Oh. I'm surprised I didn't run into you, there's so few people there. So, <laughs> you guys, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Why you subscribe and upvoting, please subscribe to Ice Cream Sandwich. There's a link in the description below. If you wanna click on that, give the original video an upvote, subscribe to him from there. Why are you doing all that? Subscribe to Laquan Bennett, hell. Come on, subscribe to everybody. Just do the things, please. Think of the best place you can get an amazing slice of pizza. Just the best, juiciest, most delicious slice you can think of. Where on earth is that slice? That's right. Italy. New York. <laughs> It's New York. Yeah. <laughs> Recently, Kelly and I set up a trip to go see friends in New York. Uh, this is Kelly, by the way. I don't think I've introduced her to you yet. Kelly, meet subscribers. Subscribers, meet Kelly. <laughs> We're gonna go see friends. It's very exciting. Yet there was one thing I had on my mind for this trip. Pizza. I see in media all over the place. Hey, New York slice this, New York slice that. I'm walking in. Ah. So I created this image in my head. Like, oh, New York slice. I hate the walk in here thing, dude. I, I hate it so much. I'm not the biggest fan of it myself. If you go to Universal Studios on the tram ride, Jimmy Fallon is like a, a video host thing. Because uh -huh. like they play his video all the time uh -huh. right, for everybody. And he has a moment where he's like pretending to be in New York and he goes, hey, I'm walking here. And I'm just like, oh God, it's just so cringy. Why do people keep making this joke? When he got ran over i'm like that's the perfect way to put a period on that joke absolutely you know what i mean <laughs> it'd be nice if they just left it there exactly so i created this image in my head i'm like wow new york slice pizza must be like the best pizza ever and now i am landing in a place where that pizza is so the day comes around we're ready to fly but as luck would have it our flight is canceled what? due to weather but oh, good news man. is that there was another flight with a little detour to chicago that could still oh, get us there the same day so we get to the airport but bad news is that pesky little weather problem comes rearing its ugly head once more and normally that's not a problem but our connecting flight would then take off before the first one lands and then we would just miss it i was feeling a little spicy so i said kelly if we go and lose the bet, then we're just stuck in Chicago and we grab a hotel, get some room service and party like we're stuck in Chicago with no responsibilities because that's literally what would be happening. Or we go, somehow the second flight also gets delayed, we go to New York and we're back on track to get exactly what we wanted in the first place. That's a win-win. Life is short, you know? You gotta be crazy sometimes, make bad decisions. So we did. So we're on the plane, it takes off. The flight went fine. There was no peanuts though. How am I expected to survive and thrive? in these conditions. We land and our second flight is delayed, but it's on the other side of the airport. It's leaving in like 45 minutes and we're on the back of the plane. So we have to run. And while we're running through the airport, we're like taking wrong directions, getting lost. Kelly's bag actually bursts open. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> when we finally find our <laughs> That would be so fun. Bad. Reaction. No. <laughs> the reactions of the animated character, I love what they do here. Yeah. Like it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's great. It perfectly captures captures the feeling inside like yes because like what we are able to physically express is totally inadequate to the real feeling sometimes it's, it's you know kind of I mean? like you know anime right yeah the, exactly. the, the, the explosions of what what's going on inside yeah exactly and so i i love his use of depicting emotion because that's exactly what i would feel in that moment <laughs> but why are airports so confusing and so stressful like it's one of those things that we so many of us need to use to yeah. get around i find that the whole process can be quite intimidating i'll try to keep this short i was just in spain and my ticket thing said either D or F. What does that mean? What do you mean D or F? <laughs> And so I, I saw I saw D was that way, F was that way. Of course. I think those are the letters. And I was like, hey, I guess I'll go with D. D is not like a short little terminal. It's like, 
there are 45 D's. Okay, and I'm like, I don't know where I'm going. And I'm trying to ask people like, yo, where am I, where's this flight? No one knows. And the reason why no one knows is because it's not on the terminal list yet. It's, okay. it's not on the flight list yet. Like they only know an hour beforehand. Oh. So every couple minutes, I just hear people going, ah! <laughs> running that way, running this way, trying to catch their flight. It's such a mess. That's horrible, yes. Yeah, um, so thankfully I was within proximity of my flight. <laughs> We're actually 20 minutes early and then some guy laughed at me. Turns out we didn't need to run at all. I was sweaty, tired embarrassed but you know i didn't care pizza's on the way i feel great and the trip isn't even oh, over yet the oh, plane had even more complications if you can believe it but hold on um i need to be somewhere i'll be right back what oh, it's an ad drop this video is sponsored by keith <laughs> yep a literal ad drop get your life together <laughs> he is the king of ads like mm -hmm. the way he does his ad drops it's like i feel so humbled by his ad drop because like i've gone out of my way if you ever have caught any of my like skillshare or whatever yeah. ads i try my best to make them engaging and interesting with like a little short film story kind of thing mm -hmm. and the way he goes about it i'm like yo this guy takes the crown of like the best ad drops ever natural thickening shampoo and conditioner system that makes your hair strong and robust Sorry. Keeps has a network of medical advisors, prescribers, and care specialists that you can contact <laughs> and can support you with whatever hair goals you may have. Several people who have witnessed users of Keeps have survived. Here's what they have to say. They had great hair. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off on your first order, go to keeps.com slash ice cream sandwich or click the link in the description. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash ice cream sandwich. Keeps. Buy Keeps today yeah, and I, I'll let you keep your life. I think I've got the Who Framed Roger Rabbit. PTSD, that steamroller coming Oh, down. shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> so we get on this next How plane, the connected forget? plane. We couldn't leave for an extra 40 minutes because of the bad weather that had happened before. And there was talk, there was discussion from the captain. He's like, hey, guys, if we fly out tonight, we might just land in D.C., which, you know, not what I paid for, but I guess it is the preferable option, all things considering. Eventually, things cleared up. He's like, okay, let's go. What? Then there was like a shift change in the pull crew, so nobody was present to move the plane to the tracks runway. So we were just stuck. Like, this is triggering. <laughs> this whole trip just to get to New York was exhausting. Eventually, the plane flies in New York. The turbulence wasn't too bad. We do land alive. After we land, we try to take a taxi and almost get scammed because I was too tired to realize there was just some random guy trying to charge people several times higher than actual taxi rates to drive people into the city. Then we got suspicious and just went on a normal taxi. It's 3 a.m. We get to the apartment and we are beat, beat to the bone. But you know what? Pizza's on the horizon. So the following day, immediately, the first thing I see when I get outside, we see a lizard on a leash there's people everywhere and everybody's hot it's insane the most i can dress up is like a shirt maybe break out my nice jeans if we're really going out but the people in new york they're like two ends of this f fashionable spectrum they're either fashionable gods that just walked off the runway or they just like got run over which can also be considered fashionable they're a leak tire tracks Oh my God. <laughs> you know, when I was in New York, I didn't see that many, I'm gonna use his words. I didn't see that many hotties. I was surprised. What time I, of year? December. Okay, everybody's cold there. But even so, you have a situation up here that works. I mean, I was just, just like- You didn't see many beautiful faces. Yeah, I guess not. I don't, I don't know. I was on the lookout. I was on the lookout hard. I'm like, I'll, just, I'll talk to anybody. <laughs> I'll take a lady in a trash can at this point. I didn't make that joke up, Patrice O'Neill did. His description was great though, because I feel like that's very accurate to my previous experience in New York, where you, you have that weird spectrum, the dichotomy of uh -huh. like, mm -mm. Wherever you walk in New York, you're walking over trash, but then you turn to your right and it's the most pristine, pure store that you've ever seen. It was the most contrasting Oof. place I've ever been in my life. So there was weird. no middle ground There's for no room. anything. But all in all, I'm really charmed by New York. And it took a couple days after we arrived, but we think after a day of touring, maybe let's get some drinks and then go eat that pizza. Get that New York slice and I'm ready for it. We find our this pizza place, almost literally a hole in the wall and it's everything I imagined. There was this good amount of wear and tear, no door and no wider than two people laid sideways. Look at the signage on I this know, thing. I so immediately crazy. fell in love. I got myself two slices and a Dr. Pepper and the wait is finally over. Oh, I good. finally <laughs> yeah, <looks> yummy. <laughs> bite.
Let me explain this flavor to you. The cheese tasted stale. There oh, was a no. subtle hint of cardboard in every no. bite. And do I sense a hint of came out of the Yo, oven this is what I was afraid of. And by golly, is that 10 times my daily salt intake? And all oh. that sounds pretty bad. But I am dead serious when I say that was one of the best oh. slices I have ever okay. had. Think about it. Has food tasted better after you've been eating a lot of it? Or after a great amount of effort? <laughs> and so, like, I guess what I'm trying to say, it's not really about the destination. It really is about the friends you make along the way. Nah, I'm just kidding. I just really like salt. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, his his videos are always like amazing. Yeah, he killed it there. Yeah. I'm always happy to introduce people to him because he's a young guy and his comedy is just so dialed in with the animation and the timing and all that. It's like the timing is so good. It also feels just relatable. What are your feelings about what he said as a New York New York I am walking here? <laughs> <laughs> So I... <laughs> I want a coffee. I hate all the things that people say sometimes yeah, to, just, to, to show that they're in New York. It's just played out. I love hearing first impressions of New York. It's unique. It's got its own energy, it's, its own life to it. People aren't used to that. I don't think I could live in New York. Like at one point I could. At one point I was excited at the notion of like moving to New York and like living that life. Mm -hmm. And then two visits ago, I was in a hotel. I woke up way earlier than I wanted to because of construction noise. And I'm like, this is exactly what New York is. It's just lots of noise and honking and honking and honking. I'm like, this is like India. It's like Mumbai and it's too much. Like I just can't with all the noise. Since shifting all of my stuff from my apartment to here, my apartment is quieter. I went home last night night and I was just like it's really quiet and I need to learn how to appreciate this because <laughs> I've been wanting this for so long and now that I have it I don't know what to do with it it's like the way Joker described catching a car yeah I just don't know what to do with it it's so nice but it's like off-putting at the same time tell you what as a voice actor uh -huh. doing auditions yeah like that is perfect I can't even think about trying to do some of this stuff in, in New York or yeah I mean even even like Burbank Chatsworth with all the airplanes mm -hmm. coming around like the noise will die down and then another one come right after it. Oh, it's so nice. this. <laughs> It's triggering hearing that. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out. <laughs> um, make sure to subscribe to Ice Cream Sandwich. Please give him a subscribe and let him know Jabby sent you. Help him get to 3 million subscribers. There's a link in the description below for the original video, like I said. Follow Laquan Bennett on the social media. And thanks so much for hanging with us. I really appreciate y'all. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is Laquan Bennett. Peace out.